Welcome to our second lesson on working with a layout sketch. Let's begin by taking an isometric view. In this lesson, we're going to convert our blocks to parts. Let's right click on block one in the design tree and select make part from block. Under the block to part constraint option, we've got two choices, project or on block. The difference between these two methods will make itself obvious in just a moment because I'll demonstrate both. Let's select on block for this part and click accept. The part we created is part of the assembly file at this point and that's indicated by the part name where assembly is tagged on as a suffix. If you need to rename the part, you just give the node a slow double click and then type in your new name. To save the part as a separate file, just right click on the node and select Save Part in External File. OK, let's right click and select Edit Part. Now let's activate the Extruded Boss command. We're going to select this block. Let's make a 50 millimeter extrusion. Accept. And let's exit part editing mode. And I'll collapse the tree now just to keep things tidy. Let's right click on block number two and select make part from block. Here I'll select the project type, let's accept. Now let's right click and select edit part, extruded boss command. Let's make the extrusion 20 millimeters. Accept and let's exit the part editing mode. Now let's take a look at the difference between the on block and project methods. The first part was created with the on block constraint. The second part we use the project constraint. When I grab the second part, I can move it. But when I grab the first part, it doesn't move. That's because the on block constraint attaches the part to the plane where the block belongs. Okay, let's expand the mates folder. SOLIDWORKS has created different mates for these parts. One has the suffix projected, and one says fixed. Let's collapse the tree, and now let's work with block number three. Let's convert it to a part, right click, make part from block. It's going to be on block, OK. Now let's edit this part. Right click, edit part, activate the extruded boss command. Let's select this part here, reverse the direction, and 10 millimeters extrusion, OK, and exit. Next, I'm going to edit part one. Let's right click, select edit part, and let's insert a sketch right here. Activate the rectangle tool. Let's drop it about here. We'll smart dimension it now. 20 millimeters here. And 50 millimeters here. OK. This distance is going to be 15. Let's accept and exit the sketch. Now let's go to the Features tab. Activate the Extruded Cut command. Select Through Alt for the end condition. Let's accept and exit part editing mode. OK. And let's apply some mates now. Now this part, even though it moves, it moves only normal to the layout sketch plane. For this reason, I'm only going to apply one mate. I'll select this face. Right click, select Other. And I'll select this face. Let's accept. Cancel out of the mate tool. Let's see how our mechanism works so far. OK. Next, I'm going to bring a second instance of this part in. Press down the control key and drag right into the graphic area. And our part is copied. Let's apply mates. Select this face. Oops, let's right click and clear the existing selections. OK, now I'm free to make selections. I'll select this cylindrical face and this cylindrical face. Accept. 
Now I'm going to control select this face. Right click, select other. And this face. Accept. And I'll select this face. Right click, select other. Select this one. Accept. And let's cancel out. Let's test our mechanism again. And let's return to the layout sketch. This time I'm going to create a pin. We'll insert a circle. Let's smart dimension it. Let's say seven millimeters in diameter. Okay. And now let's make a block. Select the circle, accept. Let's exit the layout sketch. I'm going to right click on block five, select make part from block. Let's choose the on block constraint, accept. Now let's right click on our new part, select edit part. Activate the extruded boss command. We'll extrude 60 millimeters in direction one. And 10 millimeters in direction two. Accept. Let's exit part editing mode. And go to the assembly tab. Activate the mate command. We'll select this face and this face. Accept. Cancel out of the mate tool. Let's create three more instances of the pin. To do that, I'm going to press down the control key on the keyboard and simply drag and drop them right into the graphic area. Each has a new node in the design tree. Let's apply some mates now. I'll select this face. And this face. Accept. Let's select this face and this face. And instead of a coincident relation, I'm going to use a distance mate. Let's make it 10 millimeters. Reverse the direction. Accept. Select this face. And this face. I'll select this face and this face. It'll be a distance made as well. Let's say 25 millimeters. Flip the dimensions. Accept. This face and this face. And accept. Next, this face. There we go. And this face. Accept. Okay, let's hide the blocks now. And let's apply some color. I'll make this part red. This part yellow. Green here. Right click, Appearances. Green again. And blue for the pins. Last one, right click, Appearances. Select, OK. And let's see how our mechanism works. Okay, everything looks good. This concludes our second lesson about using a layout sketch.